everyone, it's Teresa and we're going to make this awesome little set of ATCs today. They were inspired by the Prima Marketing for Navarre Trash to Treasure Challenge that they are running at the moment. So the challenge is all about using the packaging in your project. So the packaging that I used in this project is the stencil, the little cardboard that comes on the back of the stencils. Okay, I've cut those up. And then I also used the plastic. So you've seen I've cut all of that out. So I used the plastic on the back of this to create the backing for my card. And then on top of that, I used the plastic and I cut out this little flower. And these leaves are from the packaging. How cool is that? So you can even make your own little flowers and embellishments by using the packaging. Alright, so let's get going. I'll show you how we made these. I always keep my packaging. I have an entire box full of packaging. So this challenge was right up my alley. I really, really enjoyed this project. So here I'm just showing you the packaging I used. I cut it up into my three ATCs and these three see-through plastic overlays that I'm going to use on top of my little ATCs. I rounded the corners with a corner punch and I'm getting my stencil and my golden nugget paste. Love this stuff. Beautiful texture, easy enough to go through a stencil. I did all three of the plastic overlays with the stencil and the golden nugget paste. Wait for the reveal. Oh, it's always the best. Love it. Here I'm showing you that I'm cutting more of the packaging, the see-through packaging. I'm using dies that I can put through my Sizzix die cutting machine. These plastic overlays I had to leave outside to dry naturally because you can't heat them up with a heat gun to dry them because they will wrinkle and melt. Here are the flowers that I cut out. Oh, they were tricky to form. But here you can see them in the light. So just leaves and flowers. Some Prima paper flowers and a tray full of yummy Finnevar metallic elements. Some of the Finnevar glass glitter. This is copper color. And I also have some lace. To shape the flowers and the leaves, I heated them up with my heat gun. The flowers I cupped in my hand to bend the petals upwards. I went off camera, so I can't show you that. I apologize. The leaves I bent, held with a tweezer, heated it up, bent it over the tweezer. And that's how I shaped my plastic flowers and leaves. Okay, let's add some color. So I've got liquid acrylics, tiger orange and true yellow. That's for the plastic flowers. I've got steampunk copper, metallic paint. That's for my paper flowers. And I'm going to paint the paper flowers with the steampunk copper. It's a beautiful color. You have to paint every petal individually to get all of them the same color. Gorgeous, look at that. For the plastic flowers, I mixed tiger orange and true yellow. For the leaves, I'm using Sparks Paint in Green Goblin. That other Ginger Magic Sparks Paint is for the flowers, you'll see just now. The leaves, I did about two layers in the Green Goblin. Added some of the Ginger Magic Sparks Paint to the plastic flowers and the paper flowers. I really did like the translucency in the plastic elements, but they were a little bit too bright for my liking for this specific project that I was working on. So out comes the matte waxes, rusty brown, rusty red, patina green. Ended up not using the patina green, but I had this little happy accident that happened when I added the brown and the red wax to the plastic flower and I wiped it off with a paper towel. It became this rusty color. It, the matte wax has actually changed the color of the paint that I put on it. It was the most beautiful color. I absolutely loved it. 
and I ended up using the brown on the leaves too. I'm going to show you the beautiful color close up just now. Look at that. It looks like rust. It's gorgeous. Love it. Now let's put all of this together. I'm using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and I'm just stapling my beautiful overlays to my ATCs. I just stapled about three staples in the two opposite corners. Here I'm faffing around till I've got the composition the way I like it. I did all three of them with the same composition. I'll show you here now. Piece of lace, plastic flower, paper flower, then my metal flower that I cut in half, my two plastic leaves on the one side and a metal leaf on the other side. Very basic but beautiful. So I'm gluing it here with heavy body gel. One I've glued more towards the top and the white lace actually accentuates the white print underneath the overlay and then all of them like I said I did the same but one is at the top one is to the side and one is at the bottom of the ATC there we go beautiful you don't need a lot of elements to glue to an ATC that's the joy of working on such a small project is that a few elements can really look amazing so I'm just gluing the second and the third one here and then I'm going to add some finishing touches. Let's add some toppings. I've got glass glitter and I'm using soft matte gel to adhere that. Take the brush, dip it into the gel, dip it into the glass glitter and then paint the glitter wherever you would like to add some bling. And then to top that off I am going to add glitter. It's like a lovely copper color as well. Dipping off the excess glitter and um, that's an ATC done. I hope you also try and upcycle some packaging into a project. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of future videos.